Welcome to the Chant School Podcast, where we learn to sing the ancient chants of the Catholic Church. The Chant School Podcast is a production of Floriani, a men's vocal ensemble dedicated to serving the church and saving the culture through the beauty of sacred music. I'm Thomas. I'm Giorgio. We are members of Floriani and your hosts for the Chant School Podcast. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back to the Chant School Podcast. I'm here with Thomas, and today we are going to teach you an ancient version of the hymn Veni, Veni, Emmanuel. And most of you definitely know this hymn. It's sung every Advent, maybe two or three times a Mass. The history of this melody goes all the way back to the 8th century, at least the text does. And um, the melody itself goes back to the 16th century in France, where it was used um, during a requiem service. Um, this was discovered by Dr. Mary Berry, who was a chant scholar in England. Um, her, uh, she was a nun, so her name was Mother Thomas More. Um, and her discovery really showed the connection between Advent and the Requiem service. It's, it's interesting, the, um, the Advent season is itself kind of apocalyptic because it's an awaiting of the coming of Christ. And, and in one sense, you're waiting for the second coming, and in one sense, you're waiting for the first coming of Christ. Yeah, we're, we're in a second Advent as a world now. We have been for 2,000 years. Right. Well, anyhow, we'll move along and teach you this great hymn. Before we begin with the with the Latin hymn, I'll just read I'll read the first two verses of this. Many of you are probably familiar with it. If you're not, please check out our show description to read this before you learn it. It's really good to have the have the prayer in mind as you learn the melody. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou rod of Jesse, free thine own from Satan's tyranny. From depths of hell thy people save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. And another really neat thing about this hymn is, as Giorgio mentioned, it originated the text, originated in the 8th century, it originated, as many of these did, in monasteries where the monks in the last seven days before Christmas would sing uh, these antiphons based on, based on scripture called the O Antiphons. So there's one for each day leading up to Christmas, and you hear them in this hymn, O come, O come, Emmanuel, O come, thou rod of Jesse, O come, thou dayspring from on high, O come, thou key of David, O come, Adonai, Lord of might. So these are all titles for Christ. And over the course of that week, the O Antiphons build up until on Christmas Day, uh, the, the one whom they're naming comes in the flesh. Well, Thomas, why don't we sing the, uh, a few verses of the hymn for everyone, and then we'll break it down for them. Veni, veni, Emmanuel, captivum solve Israel. Qui gemit in exilio, privatus dei filio, gaude, gaude, Emmanuel, nascet ur rote Israel. So let's go through the Latin first and then we'll uh, break Break down not only the melody, but also the uh, the second voice of the hymn. Veni, veni, Emmanuel. Veni, veni, Emmanuel. Captivum solve Israel. Captivum solve Israel. Qui gemit in exilio. Qui gemit in exilio. Privatus dei filio. Privatus Dei Filio. Gaude, Gaude. Gaude, Gaude. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Nascetur. Nascetur. Prote. Prote. Israel. Israel. Veni, veni. Veni, veni. 
probably already noticed it is the pronunciation of Emmanuel um, when we sing oh come oh come Emmanuel the Latin pronunciation is a little different Emmanuel Emmanuel now we know the melody for Veni Veni Emmanuel which many of you were familiar with before and now for a second line that you can add it's just as simple as the first line it's its own melody. It's uh, really nice. So if you uh, have a have a choir or a scola or even just in a family, it's a simple way to add a really lovely kind of haunting harmony to this. And so that you're not just trying to learn it by ear, please check out the description to the podcast and you can find, if you haven't already, a link to the PDF of this so that you can follow along. The melody is the top line. It says cantus. And the line we're going to learn right now says vox Organalis. Veni, 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 Emmanuel, Emmanuel, captivum solve, captivum solve. Captivum solve Israel, qui jamit in exi, qui jamit in exi, exi.
Qui gemit? Qui gemit in exilio privatus Dei. Privatus Dei. Filio. Filio. Privatus Dei. Filio. Gaudet. The reason we went so fast at the end is because that melody is imitated, um, or it's the exact same melody as Captivum Solve Israel. So, Nashet Prote Israel. Nashet Prote Israel. And we'll take the whole melody from the beginning. Veni, veni, Emmanuel, captivum solve Israel, qui gemit in exilio privatus Dei filio, gaudet. And if we mix the main melody, the cantus, with the vo vox organale, sort of the harmony, we'll get a, a really cool haunting uh, harmony. Veni, veni. If you really want to get creative, you can actually add a third part to this, and it would just be a drone on the beginning note. So if we take that with the melody, it'll sound something like this. Veni, veni. Or if you just want to use those two parts together, that's a much simpler simpler way of harmonizing. Or if you're going to do all all of the verses, if you're singing this in a parish, uh, it's a great it's a great way you can vary the feel for each verse. You can do the first verse in unison, add the drone for the second verse, drop the drone, add the second part, and then have all three parts together. Lots of variety in hymns is definitely a good idea. Keep people interested. Floriani, <laughs> Floriani approved. That's right. 
Well, thank you for joining us for this episode of the Chance School Podcast. As always, please review, subscribe, and share this with someone you know who you think might benefit from it, whether that's a choir director or a friend in the Scola. Uh, check out our series, Propers of the Year, if you're interested in learning the propers for every Sunday and solemnity of the year. And please pray for us as we continue our mission to revitalize sacred music in America. We'll see you next time on the next episode of The Chant School. God bless. Thanks for joining us on The Chant School podcast. For more information, check out our show notes for PDFs or links to the chants that we've sung today and any other resources that are relevant. And uh, head over to our website, floriani.org, for more information. If you guys are Instagram users, you can also look us up at Floriani Sacred Music and listen to some of our tunes that we post on there. Thanks very much. God bless. See you later.